Brazil's Donald Trump, an anti-establishment politician who promises to drain the swamp and crack down on crime. And like his U.S. counterpart, he campaigned on change and won. 63-year-old Jair Bolsonaro is a seven-term congressman with a reputation for controversial comments, often aimed at homosexuals, minorities, and women, once telling a congresswoman she was not pretty enough to rape. He has a strong conservative base who, like him, are pro-life and against same-sex marriage. A former army captain, Bolsonaro wants to bring back law and order, which he says was strongest under Brazil's former military dictatorship. And even though military rule ended in the mid-80s, Bolsonaro still believes in some of the old regime's brutal tactics. I support torture, you know that. It's tough talk that has resonated with voters tired of political corruption and widespread crime. Brazil has one of the highest murder rates in the world, and Bolsonaro plans to fight fire with fire, encouraging police to use lethal force on criminals. Last month, Bolsonaro himself was stabbed in the stomach at a campaign rally by a man who police believed was mentally ill. On the economic front, Bolsonaro promised free market reforms and privatizations. But as the head of South America's largest economy, he also said he would safeguard natural resources and warns that China already owns too much of its land. Whether or not Bolsonaro makes good on his campaign promises to make Brazilians safer and more solvent is yet to be seen. He'll get that chance when he officially takes office in January. Shasta Darlington, Sao Paulo.